What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make unlimited stubs very, very easy in MLB The Show 22. If you enjoy these type of videos, drop a thumbs up, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below and turn your notifications on so you can have a million stubs, no money spent, very, very easy. Let's get into the breakdown. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code Fat Dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks. All you gotta do is come in here, make $1 bets, $2 bets, $3 bets, it don't matter. Choose your players, come over to the right, put the amount in, $1 bet, you have a chance to win $3 back. I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, so the first step is looking in your inventory. If you look at the inventory that you already have, you can see cards like this 84 overall is going for close to 5,000 stubs. This year for the roster update, they changed the quick sell. So now a lot of these cards will get boosted up over the price that they need to. So if you were to quick sell this card after it goes up to an 85 overall, you will actually lose value. So what you wanna do is you wanna try to have as many cards as these that are performing in real life. They have the new boosted cards, okay? So while the game is going on, you will see them with this Josh Donaldson highlight around it, okay? So when this card is first announced, in that first five to six hours, he is at his max price. This is only an 80 over raw, okay? So if you look at this regular 80 overall right here, he's 850 stubs, but this 80 overall is boosted. So he gets up to a 90 overall, even though he's an 80 overall card, and he's going for double the price of this regular 80 overall. So when games are going on, you need to pay attention to how teams are performing, and then you wanna go in and make investments to certain cards. Now, there's already cards that usually play pretty good throughout the year that you wanna start making small investments on. Getting two to five of them cards, like Joey Gallo can get a boost, can have a big game. He's one of the ones that I think can get an upgrade. Chapman is an 82 overall that could get an upgrade. And then throughout these teams, Wander Franco, if you go look at his card right now on the market, and then you look at his card, he led the race to a win with three hits in his first opening day game. So he's gonna get plus 20, plus 15, plus 30, plus 25. A lot of people that play Battle Royale use these low overall cards and now they have boosted stats and it's only for 48 hours so once the card goes live if you can sell it off before that first six to seven hours that's when you are going to make max profits now i've seen cards up at 45 to 5500 stubs that was just a couple days before that going for 1200 stubs so that's easily a four thousand stub profit on every car investment so if you've been quick selling your cards don't do that anymore now bronzes and silvers are super important so if you come right here to exchanges you can do the bronze exchanges and turn them into silvers or you can do the silver exchanges and turn them into golds you're going to take any of these players that you don't think is going to have a chance to get boosted and you're going to exchange them okay so we come in here and you're just going to do all these cards you're going to always get silvers and bronzes out of packs you're not going to begin diamonds every single time and you're just going to make yourself seven to ten packs okay so garcia is a good one so i'm not going to do him and we'll just come down to these cards right here trent grisham is another good one blake snell i'm just going to go ahead and do him he might get boosted but i'm going to do him from right now on this video when the cards are boosted you're going to have a good chance to pull some of them cards yesterday i pulled three boosted cards back to back and i was able to sell them for a quick 15 to 20 thousand profit and i'm going to show you that right now so now we went in there and we made a few packs if you go to open packs we have these show packs from doing the conquest mission with only the three then you have the four golds and then you have these regular ones from the tier okay so when you go in here and you open these gold packs 
It's gonna be always gold, but you have a chance to get a good card. So this card, 83 overall, I can sell now for 3,810 stubs. But Raphael Devers is a very, very good card. He has a chance at getting boosted. He's already playing up two overalls on Inside Edge. So that is a card that I will keep. I can sell him right now for 3,800, but I'm expecting for him to spike over 5,000 stubs. So that would be even more profit for me. So right here, Brandon Crawford, I already got three of these. You can sell them right now for 1,047 stubs. I have three of them, okay? So if he does get a boosted, game yesterday they did a different giant player but if you get a boosted game he will go up to four to five thousand stubs okay just from exchanging that would be a quick five ten fifteen thousand stubs just for having three of them so every time that you open up a show pack don't just quick sell all the items use these bronzes and exchange them up to silvers take the silvers exchange them to golds and now you have value once again right here we pull a 82 overall Lourdes Goriel Jr. Okay, so if he gets boosted up, I have three of these. That would be 15,000 stubs instead of me quick selling them right now for 999 stubs. So the market is very different this year. I'm going to be giving you guys roster investments on who to go after closer to the roster update. But this is a very, very good way to make stubs. If you look at my prior order, completed orders, I was selling off anything that was non-sellable so ronald acuna josh hader and then these hernandez's he got boosted last night i wasn't on in that first two to three hours he was up to like 4700 so i lost 2000 stub profit on that but i still made about 1700 stub profit on each one of these getting them off as soon as i got on the game another one down here you're going to be able to see on the next page all these cards that were boosted up that I pulled out of the exchanges right here. I got the Hernandez off for 3,000. Wander Franco, 3,174. Swarber got boosted up, sold him for 2,198. So if you can see right here, it's a lot of ways to make stubs and make profit. And then Anthony Rendon, you can see I was buying him for 994 stubs, expecting for him to get boosted. So this was an investment that I was doing. 994 stubs, he has a good game. He's going to go up to 5,000 or more stubs. That means that I would make over a 4,000 profit on each and every card that I have in the game. Make sure that you're taking advantage of this, paying attention to the channel so you can never miss out on what cards to go after instantly. So turn your notifications on. Make a lot of stubs.